really not like to hear that. Showers. Mm. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video, where you get to know your favorite celebrity better. Today, we have brought to you another exciting episode that will provide insight into one of your favorite celebrities' lives. In today's video, we will be discussing Brad Pitt, his lifestyle, his net worth, and how he spends the millions he earns. Before we proceed, kindly hit the like button, and if you are new here, kindly hit the subscribe button to be among the first set of people to receive notifications of our latest videos. Today's episode promises to be exciting as usual, but before we start the main deal for today, I think it's necessary to go back to history to know how Brad Pitt began from the bottom and rose to stardom. William Bradley Pitt, popularly known as Brad Pitt, was born on the 18th of December, 1963, in Shawnee, Oklahoma, to William Alvin Pitt and Jane Etta. He is an American actor and film producer who started his education at Kickapoo High School, where he was a member of the golf, swimming, and tennis teams. He participated in the school's key and forensics clubs, in school debates, and musicals. Pitt was literally everywhere in school. Following his high school graduation, Brad Pitt enrolled in the University of Missouri in 19. 1982, majoring in journalism with a focus on advertising. As graduation approached, Pitt did not feel ready to settle down. He loved films a lot, and since films were not made in Missouri, he decided to go where they were made. Two weeks short of completing the coursework for a degree, Pitt left the university and moved to Los Angeles, where he took acting lessons and worked odd jobs. While struggling to establish himself in Los Angeles, Pitt took lessons from acting coach Roy London. Pitt's acting career began fully in 1987 with uncredited parts in some films like No Way Out 1987, No Man's Land 1987, and Less Than Zero 1987. Pitt pushed on until 1994-1998 where he made a breakthrough and the rest is history. Pitt has featured in over 50 movies in his entire acting career. Between 1980 and 1990, Brad Pitt was involved in many relationships with several co-stars, but didn't lead to marriage. He later got married to Jennifer Aniston in 1998, but they got divorced in March of 2005. During Pitt's divorce proceedings, he started dating his Mr. and Mrs. Smith co-star, Angelina Jolie. In January 2006, Jolie confirmed that she was pregnant with Pitt's child. Pitt and Jolie announced their engagement in April of 2012 after seven years together. They later got married on August 23, 2014. The marriage was later dissolved on the 12th of March, 2021. Brad Pitt has six children in total, including the three children, Maddox, Zahara, and Pax, Angelina Jolie adopted. His lifestyle. Brad Pitt's lifestyle is basically a simple one, aside from being an alcoholic, which has been corrected. In September 2016, Pitt began attending Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and achieved sobriety over 18 months. How he made his millions. Brad Pitt's primary source of income are through his acting projects and through his production company Plan B. His estimated net worth as of 2021 is $300 million. He has appeared on Forbes' list of the highest paid actors in the world multiple times, notably in 2015 and 2016. Brad Pitt's income started off with just $6,000 for his role in the movie Thelma and Louise in 1991. Slowly, as he started climbing the ladder of success, his payments also started growing. He earned around $500,000 in the movie California. As Brad Pitt's fame grew, so did his leading role salary. Working with the likes of George Clooney in the Ocean's Eleven saga gave him yet another boost, as did his work in Ocean's 12 and then Troy. Behind Pitt's meteoric rise is an obviously disciplined and hardworking actor. He spent six months learning sword fighting for his role in Troy, which was also the first film produced by his company Plan B Entertainment. While he was making millions of dollars per role, starring in Mr. and Mrs. Smith was when he first broke into making $20 million per movie. His career has been continuous with very few gaps of empty space. With an armful of movies, it wasn't until 2014 that he won his first Oscar. It was a shared Oscar for his work in 12 Years a Slave, with a second Oscar won in 2020 for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He has been nominated and has won different awards through the years, such as the Golden Globes, Primetime Emmy Awards, BAFTA Awards, AACT 
AAA International Awards, as well as many other awards in movies, television, and commercials. A smart move by Brad Pitt was in the year 2001, when he just took $10 million for Ocean's 12, but also asked for a percentage of back-end receipts. This made him earn $30 million from the film. To appear in Quentin Tarantino's movies, he cut his salary back to $10 million, receiving the same for Inglorious Bastards and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. How he spends his millions. The wine business. In the spring of 2013, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie debuted a new wine they promoted and invested in. The wine was created on the 150 acres of vineyard on the Chateau Miraval, south of their estate in France. The wine is called Miraval Rose, and the former couple's first initial run of releasing 6,000 bottles in stores around the world had sold out within just five hours. Family Yacht. Brad Pitt and his then-partner spent a jaw-dropping $322 million to buy a super yacht. As if that was not enough, they spent an additional $200,000 just to decorate the yacht. Not too much for someone who received a whopping $20 million for starring in a movie. New Orleans Mansion. In 2007, Pitt and Angelina Jolie bought a house in New Orleans together for $3.5 million. The home dates back to the 1830s and is highlighted by at least 7,600 150 square feet of space. Much of this space is occupied by five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a grand elevator, a two-car garage, walls with Venetian plaster, marble mantles, and crown moldings. Brad and Angelina recently sold this mansion for $4.9 million at the time of their split, a villa in Mallorca. In the middle of filming a World War II epic alongside Marion Coltelard called Allied in the Spring of 2016, Brad Pitt gave himself a break from the set in favor of spending a weekend in Port D'Antrax. While filming the movie in the Canary Islands, he fell in love with the land and its culture, enough to buy himself his own spot over there. For $3.1 million, Pitt bought himself a villa in Mallorca. The site rests just 25 kilometers west, away from the land's capital, Palma hired a dentist to chip his teeth. Brad Pitt is highly dedicated to his craft as an actor, more than most actors out there, actually. Pitt has been known to go above and beyond for a lot of his roles, but he especially went the extra mile when he was set to star in the cult classic Fight Club. When preparing to play the delightfully deranged lunatic known as Tyler Durden, he didn't just want to go through a character transformation. He wanted a physical change, so he hired a dentist to chip his teeth for the role. Once filming was done, he hired another dentist to straighten his teeth back to normal. The Jolie Pitt Foundation. In 2006, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt together founded the Jolie Pitt Foundation. They created the organization in hopes of addressing and aiding crises worldwide, as well as to further their selfless efforts as humanitarians. According to tax filings, 2006 was a busy debut year for them as they spent $8 million through their foundation on a bevy of charities throughout the year. The most significant donations they made that year went to Global Action for Children and Doctors Without Borders. One thing that always connected Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie was their love for helping the planet and being all around humanitarians. One of their most significant contributions as humanitarians was when they flew out to Haiti in the wake of the country being devastated by a horrible earthquake in 2010. To help provide care to the residents of Haiti, Jolie and Pitt collectively donated $1 million to Haiti's emergency response group. Doctors Without Borders. Pakistan is another place in the world that Brad Pitt has dedicated time and money to help in their turmoil. His efforts in trying to help the residents date back to 2005 when he went there in the wake of an October 8th earthquake that devastated the northern part of Pakistan. He donated 40 orthopedic beds worth $100,000 to an Islamabad hospital. In 2009, Brad Pitt returned to Pakistan with Angelina Jolie to donate $1 million to a United Nations refugee refugee agency to aid displaced refugees. Plan B Entertainment. In 2001, Brad Pitt partnered alongside his then-wife, Jennifer Aniston, and film producer Brad Gray to invest money into creating their own production company called Plan B Entertainment. By 2004, after Aniston and Pitt divorced and Gray left the company to become the CEO of Paramount Pictures, Pitt became the sole owner of the company. Pitt has used the company to flex his producing muscles and invested in a number of projects that Pitt paid off. Three projects that the company produced, The Departed, 12 Years a Slave, and Moonlight, went on to win the Oscar for Best Picture, a hotel in Croatia. 
In 2016, Brad Pitt went on holiday in Sibinac, Croatia. While there, he stayed at the Dargis Vom Hotel. He took some time to speak to the architect who built that building, and that same architect went on to talk to a local newspaper to reveal that Pitt had plans to create his hotel in Croatia. The architect, Nikola Basic, was one of 10 people who accompanied Pitt on a walking tour of the land in hopes of finding a site to build this project. The project cost $2.5 billion. BMW Hydrogen 7. Brangelina arrived at the Los Angeles premiere of Pitt's film Oceans 13 in a BMW Hydrogen 7 back in 2007. Close to $118,000 was spent on the world's first hydrogen-powered luxury sedan. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. You now have a glimpse into Brad Pitt's lifestyle, net worth, and how he spends the millions he earns. Don't forget to like this video and also hit the subscribe button to stay notified of new videos.